once we have achieved the something state we can open our eyes we can start to flex our fingers flex our muscles flex our legs and return to a state of doing something bring back my attacking chess so let's see how we do now bringing back the attacking elements let's just bring the bishop out so take knight's got a nice check on the queen but we'll just save that for a moment let's just bring the bishop here not negating the basic stuff got a two on one on this pawn now and now he's blocked the space where the knight could actually attack so let's castle really look for the attacking potential let's get this here this guy is really good aren't they let's just attack this pawn let's get the bishop across let's push this pawn onto here let's grab and be attacking the queen it's got a two on one here with the bishop so the queen's probably going to take the pawn So that's the whole element of when I've done, oh, I've got to check on the king, but we just can't do it. That was the downside to doing attacking chess when I was doing it. I was good at attacking, attacking, but the back end, you kind of lose pieces. You know, so it's the attack or the piece. Oh, got the queen, yes. Fantastic. Yeah, it's the attack or you lose a piece. So I think probably they should have just taken the pawn with the queen there. So it wasn't a really good position for us at all in that sense. Quick look at the analysis just to explain what I'm, I'm talking about on that one. All right, it's not actually saying take the pawn at all. Um, so I'm thinking they've got a two on one. There'll be a pawn up if they take. So if we take, then the bishop comes round. And obviously we would attack because obviously this pawn is being attacked, but then he can just go back with the bishop, can he not? Am I missing something here? It's showing it as a draw. That's interesting, isn't it? That's very interesting. Okay, cool. But in any event, that's the type of thing that happens where if I'm attacking in the past, it's then what am I leaving behind? Am I giving them a better position? So I've got to be mindful of that. I'm wanting to introduce now my old way of attacking into my answer process in its fullest extent. And it's based on the, the last two games of, over the board that I've played, where basically, um, to the human eye, the games looked drawn. But when the computer looks at it, it goes, well, no, the first one was like plus five for the opponent which is quite high, and the second one was plus 4.9, which again is quite high. But to the human eye, um, the games look drawn, which is good. I'm happy with that. I'm fine because we've done what we've needed to do. You know, We've gained an advantage in the game playing as black. So now I want to push a little bit further and see about how to develop the attack fully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-look at those last two games and look at them in more in depth and look at what potential maneuvers we could have done to make it even better. Okay, so here is the first game that was drawn in the over the board league season. I'm just gonna take a look and see if we can find better moves in our own analysis we'll probably use the engine at the end but i'm just looking to really just use my own brain to see if i can see if i would have done anything different have a look at the the way that we presented our um, pieces um i think i do have a, a few ideas as to what potentially could have been done done differently i felt happy in the game even though I had little concerns about the position of my pieces and attacking pawn, you know, but we'll go through all of that. And then we blocked. 
So I, I still would do that now. So I'm fairly comfortable with that. And brought the knight through. So I'm used to this type of position. So I'm happy with that. And just bringing the bishop out. Knight comes down, we open up. So we've done this many times. So fairly happy with this position. Still happy, king safety, all of that capturing, that's pretty okay. Developing the knight, maybe looking to attack the queen. Pawn stops the attack from the knight. We grab the pawn, the queen takes. Knight comes up attacking their knight, but also the bishops attacking the bishop. And the grab. And we grab. So, okay. Still happy with that. They castle. Then we go and attack the queen. I think this was the start of the problem, you know. Because now, all the focus is going to be on this pawn, if I remember correctly. I think we should have just taken the knight off the board. But hey, let me just have a look. Yep, let's just go back one more. So the knight moved, could have moved this knight, but this knight is here. I think the reason I didn't take the knight, I think, is because I didn't want to bring any more of his pawns into the center. But that might have been incorrect thinking. Hmm. Let's put the knight down, castled, then we attack the queen. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong, but I think positionally it didn't work for us. Yeah, so the queen came now and it's now attacking this pawn. And basically we're kind of having to babysit this pawn subliminally. So that took away a bit of a sting of our position. Yeah, so I think we genuinely should have just taken the pawn. Whether they would have brought this pawn in, I think they probably would have done. But maybe they wanted to keep these linked. So maybe they would keep the pawns linked and the queen takes. Knight can come and attack the queen again. Already this feels better. Just from that just from that moment there of taking that bit of moment. Because, um, yeah, in the game, there was pressure on this pawn, babysitting it, and I felt like I was going backwards rather than forwards. This kind of generates a more forward motion. So simple, so simple. Let's just jump in and see what the computer says about this situation, right? Look at that take. Do you know? <laughs> It's exactly what we just said, isn't it? Smallest of details. Yeah, I don't think I need to do any more on this one. They, I, I just had a feeling that there was a move order done wrong, you know, and then I was on the back foot for the rest of the game, really. Okay, just play a 30-minute game before we go into the next unpacking of the second recap of the OTB season so yep nice things to learn from looking at the evaluation and just finding those um, spots and advantages and disadvantages yourself and then you utilize the engine to um, either confirm or deny what you're actually planning to do going forward it's a I missed that, but never mind. So we want to practice the attacking. Oh, he's giving up the pawn, but is it really giving up the pawn? Because these rooks come in here, all sorts of shenanigans. Going to take it. It's probably taking, I don't know, but the rooks coming here. No, it's not. Special times, special times. Let's take. Just open up the white square bishop. It looks like he's got some sort of method sorted out here. Um, is it a good method? Attack the bishop. Try and get the rook into the game if they take. Let's take. What's he on the bishop? Yeah, okay. And shall we? No, we don't do that. Let's attack his knight. 
there's a lot of stuff happening. Oh, I'm gonna lose my knight. I've lost my knight for nothing or not. Oh, let's take and get the king into the open. Let's put a check on. Let's put a check on. Let's put a check on. And dark square, let's put a check on again. And let's put a check on again. Or is there something else that can put a check on? Let's put a check on. Ooh, maybe not that one because his rook will come through. So let's do that one first. And then this one. Put a check on here. Wants to save the knight. Doesn't want to save the knight. It's blocked with the... Okay, what do we want? Oh, we've got a nice little bit of a rook situation here. Still wants to save the knight. And now we can... Queen, queen, queen. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be greedy. Opposite the knight. Two on one on this pawn. Knight can't move, got the x-ray through. Bishop's going to come and protect. X-ray through to the queen. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's not x-ray through to the queen, so we could go for a queen exchange. Let's go for a queen exchange. Bishop's here, rook can come here. We got here pretty quickly. I mean, it's a 30 minute, 10 second game. But that's the only way you can really play these long play games on here uh, or else they just jump off. Nobody really wants to spend time thinking about the moves. They want to play it like a blitz match for the first 20 odd moves. It's defending the area. Queen can come here and put a check on. Checkmate, I think it is, because the bishop's guarding this square. Where does he go? Yeah, excellent. Okay, and this is the more recent over-the-board game that we played. And as we said, we're just looking at trying to... Well, not trying, we want to improve and bring in the attacking element to our game and make it more solid so i just want to have a look in this game here i feel like i've forgotten it now and it was only um yesterday <laughs> it's only yesterday and I've, I've done all my um recap of it all but i still feel like i've um forgotten it now so right now i want to do this better I took my time, there was no rush. I had the logic of, well, if I can get my queen here and the rook here, mentioned it in the recap, then maybe we can hit the queen here. Knowing full well the potential was that the bishop was going to come and attack here. What I should have done was, even if they, you know, if they, the option is that they potentially have, but then also, what if they don't? You know, and sometimes when I do evaluation, you can see the computer just doing basic attacking moves like rooks attacking pawns, and it's obvious that it can be defended. But what the computer is kind of saying is, well, well, what if they don't actually come and defend it? Then I've got a free pawn. So I kind of try to use that same logic here in that, okay, if I pile up on here, if that bishop doesn't do that, then we can go and attack the queen. It's not like a killer move or anything because at the end of the day, the queen could swing down here and attack the pawn. So from my calculation, that is what I actually calculated. Um, what I just said, bringing the rook across here, there the bishop potentially coming here, but there's no real, he could just move, could just move attacking pawns. But I still carried on doing the moves. 
and that was wrong. I should have said to myself, you know that there's potential here. He's moved here for a reason. He's going to start attacking down on here. And I ignored it like it was nothing, you know. And really, that was my blind spot because that was where they kind of started champing in the area of the game. So really, going forward, my attack, for me, something should have happened either with my queen, maybe, I don't know, something, doing something. I'm going to choose a move now. Can these arrows not come off? Boom, boom. There we go. Right. So now I'm in the game. I'm going to take as long as it needs to find a better move. I won't be using the evaluation until afterwards. <clears throat> Computer. Could push because the pawn and the queen are support. Well, sorry, the pawn is supported by the queen and the rook. Could push just to try and get some ownership of this area. Because I was thinking about dilly dallying with my knight as well, you know, bringing it across, but it seemed okay there. And my poor bishop really was just like, oh, should I just get this here and just fee and chatter with? But I'm thinking I'm going to lose a lot of tempo. But this pawn, I think this pawn move would have been magic. Push. And then if he's going to come here, then we've got at least another pawn to be taken with. So I think pushing. Rather than do it going for this fancy business here, doubling up on an area that really is not going to give you much at all. Yeah. Right, let's have a look and see what the scores and the doors are for that move. Plus 0.5. Okay, and... We did queen, and that's plus 0.8. So there is a difference. The pawn move, I should have done the pawn move, I believe. Yeah, I wasted, I wasted that move. In fact, it's suggesting that. The computer's suggesting that. Ugh. Totally ignored this rook move here, thinking, ah, oh, it's nothing. Let's go and swing over here. Total waste of time. Absolutely beating myself up because I, I just realised something wasn't right, but I just carried on anyway, just thinking. And all it was was a simple pawn move here. Pushing the pawn up. Because then, if he does push, as we mentioned, we can just challenge it and take it off. And it gives us a better position on the board. That would have been beautiful. I don't even need to do any more. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the... Because that, that was the catalyst um, all for bad position. But we'll carry on. Yeah. Okay, so captured, captured. And still carried on with the rook, you know, looking to try and get the queen... But the bishop is going to come. If it does come, then bang. And now this poor bishop is just stuck here doing nothing. We're losing loads of tempo. Was there anything else that we could have done from this point? Because this is where they started winning this file, this area. Uh, knight up and then here, blocking. So would the knight have been better coming here? Is there a better way? Queen comes down. Oh, nice. Missed that. If the queen comes down like they did, then the queen can attack. Oh, but hold on. No, it's not back rank. So now we're attacking, so we would win the rook, wouldn't we? Oh, let's look at that. What's the scores and the doors for that then? Right. Just firstly the knight. Let's see what that is. Plus 0.2. Oh, smooth. That would have been brilliant. Look at, oh, plus 0.1. Oh, 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 oh. oh God, crikey. It was there all along. It was there all along. 
Oh, with the fantastic. Oh, damn. So then we said, what uh, if the queen did move there? Then obviously the rook comes here and it is suggesting that as well. And it's not saying go there though, is it? Then we were just going to take anyway. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Evaluation is key. Uh, absolutely key. Excellent. Things to pick on quite nicely. Just go with my gut. And I saw it. I knew it. But I just carried on on the same track. So I'm hoping next games, maybe they we can kick that in a little bit. Just use a bit more common sense. Okay, 30 minute, 10 second game to practice the stuff that we have relearned, want to add into our system. Attacking chess. No, don't do it. Just develop. Let's castle. Let's take. Let's attack the bishop. Take. Because the attacking side of things has always been within the answer process. It's just a matter of doing it actually, you know, playing over the board. It's doing it more appropriately. So it's really just focus targeting. Sit so, um, hit the knight. It's not wanting to play, so kind of wasted a bit of a movement there, didn't they? Let's attack the knight again. Mm-hmm. Interesting times. It's coming for the pawn. Bishop, bishop, oh, check, and check, check, no. Let's go here. Watch how quickly that moves down. Boosh. <laughs> I can read you like a book. Let's bring the bishop here. Still going to push. Huh. It's like I'm in a novel. So we can go here. Or not. Do you see the cleverness of which they've got? Look at that. Looking for that. So we'll bring the queen here. So seeing what the opponent's trying to do, that does help, especially in the longer games. You've got more time to think. I know this is a long game, but online it's not really long. They want you to move fast. <laughs> They don't have long attention spans not going to help. So could move this out of the way first and then we can push the pawn. So he's got a pawn, extra pawn, sorry. Let's take. But does it improve their position? We could attack the queen actually, they might take. And then he's got another pawn here with his knight. But I'm looking positionally on the board. Does it mean a right lot at this moment? It's not got castle. These rooks aren't linked up. There's no clear open files per se. So we can take with the pawn if we need be. It's not going for the exchange. So we can take this and attack the rook. Attacking the pawn as well. Now it's got space to attack a higher piece, which is the queen. So they're probably thinking now, well, we should have just taken the queen off the board. Just keep it simple. Why did we get hearty? Let's just attack the queen. They've not got castled yet either. King doesn't look too safe. Queen's got a check on here. So he's looking to try and weave his way in somehow, but the king 
I do believe is fairly safe because all we need to do is put a fork here, doesn't it? take so he's going to try and rely on the pawn somehow to get some sort of situation uh, I don't think there's much doing there Rook's going to be on their queen now it's got to check on the king let's take there yeah, they're fed up now yeah, that's the sort of psychological thing that, you know, you go through when, oh man, I've tried everything and I just can't get in. So this player's left the game now. Okay, good session.